hey guys welcome back to my channel this video is one of those videos that i'm glad i'm glad that you'll be watching you know we don't really hear from the men about their opinion on marriage or how they feel about their wives people that truly genuinely love or enjoy marriage so this man he posted on on tiktok asking he said married men what is your greatest regret about marriage advise the single boys it could be about anything i want to tell you that most of the comments like it was it was beyond what i expected but i'll be leaving the link of that of this post on tiktok so you guys can go and read up just soak up the comments maybe i could even make this in part because those the comment men left when i tell you that the men came out and they came out in numbers and these are this i think this guy is from south africa and of course the way to a large extent the way africans view marriage is largely different from the way westerners view marriage i don't know like i'm trying to downplay anyone but we still hold marriage in high regard we still you know treat marriage like you know something like you know that is sacred or not but let's just go right into the comments so this um this one said uh she may stay af she may stay after you've cheated but she will never be the same again so don't do it i love this i guess the man has experienced it so he's sharing from his from his own experience this person now posted this is actually a woman the, this woman i wrote we need the so-called side chicks in the comment section they should come and see how married men actually feel about their wives i don't think it's it's any hidden knowledge that men men marry or they respect their wives maybe down here in africa the way i see men you see some men they are cheating but their wife will never know even for out they will never know because they don't want anything that will hurt their wives and they don't want their wives you know to start feeling in there so they will hide it even that there are people that cheat but their friends will never even know that's how much some people go as far as to hide it i don't even know why they put so much effort into cheating so this other person now wrote my biggest regret in my marriage was to cheat and i'm telling you my wife has never been the same so my advice never cheat never ever good i love this this other person wrote not that i regret but all i can say is that divorce is worthless better separate rearrange yourselves and try again i love this you know there was a post i saw where somebody was saying so long as your ex is still alive you will never stop loving the person and even in no matter how many times you get married that marriage will never be like your first and i think i find sense in it because there's a way you your heart is postured when you are getting married the first time you pour all your all into it i don't know this is me just thinking i'm not married but i'm just you know thinking out loud so this other person now wrote not all women age gracefully with all their good looks and physique marry her for more reasons beyond her body and beauty seek it forever this other person now wrote marry a woman who wants marriage not a wedding ah this one is so deep see see this comment alone we can sleep on this comment i've seen a video of a girl saying she just wants a wedding that the marriage can be kept if it is possible for her to have a wedding and not get married that she's off for it and i know that a lot of women a lot of women these days they're all about the wedding oh they want to have the best wedding you know they want their wedding to be the talk of town they want the, everybody on the internet to be raging raving about their wedding and the thing is that people like that they don't even spend time you know planning and thinking about the kind of marriages they want to have or the kind of family they want to have which is very terrible if you ask me well let's continue this person now wrote your wife become the words you speak upon her i regret not speaking life and good upon her this other person now wrote ask yourself if i am the man that i want my daughter to marry mm, mm, mm. ah this one is deep and this people someone that have a, ah self-awareness have a retrospect oh can you give the hand of your your daughter and marry to a man like yourself man this is nice this other person now wrote she is not complaining she is showing you how to love her properly ah this man he has he has he has gotten it you know that people just like to target that women are nagging women love to nag no she's not she's just 
showing you or telling you how she wants to be treated or loved. This is nice. This other person now wrote, the grass is never greener on the other side. Never. Mm. My regret is I allowed her to isolate me from my family and siblings while her family was taking over my family. I think this unconsciously, this is the family dynamics. I don't know how to paint that picture, but I've, what I've noticed that oftentimes when men get married, his, his family will not start focusing on the women family side of the on his wife's side of the family. I don't know how to say it, but it's it's common. It's very, very common. It's it's in few cases that you see that the men of the family of the man is still involved in his his new family, just the way the girl's family is involved in his own family. I don't know if you guys get the point, but this is common. I guess this person's one was too much and you know the divide was too much. But I, I totally get what this person is saying. So the this person now commented, I okay, found my husband comment oh wow okay this one's from a woman so other women were, were not asking her what's the comment she now said that the husband wrote that it is hard being a husband oh my like so i think what people people are now advising that okay that thank god that she saw the husband's comment and she now said that she never knew that the husband was having that challenge that, that he, he never showed it so other so men you know was nothing like that yeah men don't know men usually hide hide stuff they don't like showing you know that are going through stuff like that but i'm glad that they advised and she she actually took the advice this other person now wrote once married never cheat on your wife delete and block all exes i love this this other person now wrote i am marrying her this year but i regret taking advice from unmarried friends who had failed in their own relationships i almost lost her i won't make that mistake when i am fully married I'm so happy for this man because this is a journey he's just starting and I'm I'm happy that he's gotten it right from the onset and I wish him all the best. This other person that wrote, I'm regretting having friends who are not married while I'm married. This is very key because why do you take advice from people, somebody that have not have not been there before? You know this saying, I'm not I'm paraphrasing now because I can't remember the, the correct saying that. Um I think it was it was the former president of United States that president of United States that made that I've forgotten. Who taught you? I learned from the okay, I've been on the shoulder of people that have gone before me. I can't I can't if, if, if please if you know the saying, just put it in the comment section, please. This other person okay. And it's so true. Just the way married women be taking advice from single women. Like when I see stuff like that, I just shake my head. This other person now wrote. I have no regrets. I always tell her that I can propose every day. I can marry her every day. She is a blessing to me. I love you, Mangidi. My everyday prayer is to keep our vows that we made. Oh my God, this is amazing. This other person I wrote. Reading the comments as a married woman, these two are top tier for me. Oh, look at this from a woman. Um, She said, okay, this, she now quoted the person that wrote one of the comments she loved. Pay attention to how your partner shows grace and mercy during conflict, regardless of who is right or wrong. This is so key. This is very key. And I've seen women saying how, despite their, despite the conflict or fight they have, how their partner he, you know, shows love and does what they will say they will do. Okay, there was a story I read. So they were asking this lady what made her choose her current husband. She said what sealed it for her was the first time they had their first query that the guy already in fact is even from here my country nigeria the, the, the i read the story actually from a magazine i usually i'm i'm, a, I'm subscribed to i read stories from them once in a while so she said what sealed it for her was when they had their first quarrel so they had already you know arranged what they would do the guy already promised to do something for her that despite the fact that she was the one at fault and the query was very huge and she was at fault but she was still being stubborn the guy still did what he said he was going to do for her. Like, he did it the way he was meant to do it. He didn't complain about it. He said, since that day, he, like, that was what she did for her. And I, and I love it. I, I took a lot of lessons from that, too. And I'm also learning. So this other person now wrote, we dated from high school, matriculated, and she fell pregnant at 19. Made a promise to marry her as she was the love of my life. Dated for 10 years, got a job, and kept my promise. Got married two years later. Oh, this is nice. I love it when people have this kind of happy endings. 
you must not have to date around before you, you know you come and settle down no you don't have to test test jump up and down if you get it right from the with one person you need to thank god every day of your life this is this person now commented observe how her mother treats her father that's how she is going to treat you that's how she was socialized the opposite applies to a, to a large extent i understand where this person is coming from because whether we like it or not environment of any every and any child have high influence on that child so i understand where this person is coming from which is true to a large extent but that one of course there are there, there are always outli- outli- outliers like someone like me i'm coming from a very dysfunctional home but looking back the few relationships i've been in that different that like i don't even know how to say it if so if i tell you i'm coming from it in fact the few guys i've dated they never believe i'm from a dysfunctional home until like they got to know my family because of the way i've been treating and the way i respect and on you know this kind of thing i don't i don't have the daddy issues so there will always be outliers so let's not generalize but i understand where it's coming from though i love this next one it says be the partner you are looking for if all of us can internalize this this advice the world will be a better place be the partner the friend you are looking for be it first this other person has said marry a woman who doesn't have the trauma of being left by her dad mm, daddy issues if she doesn't know her dad at all you are good trust me boss okay and like i said the other time there will always be outliers it's not always true there are people that because of where they're coming from they want to do better in fact they, they are forced to do better because they don't want to repeat or they don't want to put their children in the same circle they are coming from so yeah that there's that too this other person said if she can't have children don't walk out on her it is not her fault be there for her love her unconditionally brother this one is also cool this next person wow. has narrates don't let the family you come from destroy the family you create mm-hmm. exactly like what i was saying uh, this is i think well, like, i love the way this come of these comments are you know after each other this other person now wrote women will want you when you are married don't entertain them how true is this because this is like in this same week this is the third time i'm seeing this i saw it from women i'm also seeing it from a man too how true is this let me know in the comment section this person now wrote never ever speak bad about your spouse to your family and friends so true because the way you treat and respect your spouse that's the same way your family and friends will respect or treat your spouse this one there's no you don't even i don't have to speak so much about it this other person now wrote regret regret never never marrying sooner because man the feeling of being responsible for someone's life really feels good oh my god this is amazing i guess this, this person love loves being responsible mm, this is a provider man of course to a large extent not even largely our african country african countries are still largely traditional so we still play our roles you know the traditional roles that we are we know so men are providers women are you know you know the soft and care caretaker and caregiver part so yeah there's no negotiation there's no there's no how well, there's no confusion yeah that's the word no confusion about that so this person now wrote listen when she speaks from her heart once she feels on her she will be closed off for a long time if not once women sign it it is always very hard to have them turn around that person now wrote i regret telling lies she doesn't believe other person now wrote my greatest regret is thinking happy wife happy life why totally disregarding my dreams needs etc hoping when she when she good i'll be good that killed me in the end i would love the men to elaborate on this this person now wrote no regret for me i have been married for 28 years from 1996 and I was 24 years old when I met him. I am married to a sweetheart, and I don't regret any single moment. We raised together four beautiful kids together. Mm, this is nice. Congratulations to you. This person has said, if you lead your wife properly, she will submit and nurture you. This one, you know, 
No lies here. No lies. But women love to be led. Let me no lies. Let me not lie. We love to submit. But when they don't see any need to submit, like I don't know how to put it. When you don't prove yourself, like you know, when you are not a leader, it's hard for a woman to submit. I think that's it. When you are not, when you don't know how to lead yourself and also lead the people around you, it is hard for the woman to submit. So this other, this is a woman. I don't know why I'm crying. I guess I never knew men like this existed. Your wives must be blessed. Ooh, see, I'm not married yeah, but guys, I know I've seen it. There are a lot of good men out there, a lot. Forget what social media I say, you know, a lot, a lot. Hmm. This person has wrote, "Never marry your crush or the girl you love too much, but marry the girl who can sit and listen to you." But I also believe you can still have it all. You can see the girl that love that you love that loves you can still listen to you. I think for me, yeah, if a girl says she loves you, she has to listen to you. If she's not listening to you, that's no love. Yeah. But you, you guys can correct me though. This other person now wrote, I always wish she's still here with me. I loved her that I can't even remarry after her demise. It's been six years. I miss her. Oh, may God heal your wound. Dude. I, this person I wrote, okay, this, I think it's a woman, Becky. I wish my husband can come across this post. The comments here is something else. That man has hurt me to no repair. I'm still there just to heal, just to heal and, and find my way out. He disappoints me and he hurts. Oh, okay, I remember reading this comment. Some people were not saying, why are you still in the marriage? Women were not saying that it's, she has, how she, that this woman, this Mrs. Becky, she has checked out of that marriage emotionally. So she's just there to heal herself, which is possible. That's what women are saying to me. It's not me, I cannot relate because I don't know. I don't know. I don't have that experience. So I don't know how true it is. So this this person now wrote, never cheat on your spouse. It will break her and you in the end. Hmm, this cheating comment again. Please he do. This person now wrote, invest a lot of time learning her beliefs, background, how she manages finances. Love alone is never enough. Know what you are marrying. Mm, know what you are marrying. You know, I'm always asking people, what do you guys talk about when you are courting, when you go out on dates, or do you just go and eat and, you know, have fun, just bounce around and just go back and not say we vibe together? What exactly do people talk about when they go out on dates? Because there are a lot of things happening in marriages that could have been avoided during dating if they were just, you know, if they were, if they paid attention to each other. Some of them that since that shouldn't have even occurred. There are people that shouldn't have even said hello hi to each other, talk more of marrying themselves if they paid attention to, to their own beliefs, their values, what they stand for. Do you get what what do I know? This person now wrote In times of trouble, remember it's not you against her, but the both of you against the problem. I love this. I love this to get you know united will stand divided will fall. This is it. I mean, I love all this all these advices. This person now commented on behalf of my husband, he regrets nothing. He married his best friend. I love the way the answer this the creator responded to this woman. Say you might be right or wrong, but thanks for the confidence you have in your marriage. Yeah, she might be right or wrong, just like the other woman that said she never knew her husband had any 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 regrets and in her, in her head the husband was good just like how this one is saying thinking that the husband does not have any regrets but if you should hear from the man now she'll be flabbergasted i don't like it when women are you know inserting themselves when it's a man's conversation just you know soak it all in and learn but i'd love to hear from you guys what is the lesson you've done out from this so far what is what what is what which one hit you hard which of it hit you hard but I love this so so much. Let me know if you want a part two. Want me to continue this? There is so much for this great this comment. Like so much. This I've never scratched it. But let me know if you want part two.